Hey, welcome to Arman Mission. In this video, we will check the fresh new transform constraint available in 4.3 version. It's totally got revamped and we have fresh new view where we can map properties one to another. I want to move this wheel, but while it's moving, I want it also to rotate without any animations. On the left side, we have property from the source bone here. And on the right side, we have properties that we want to map on the bones that are constrained. We can have multiple bones. We have just controller now. But as you can see, you can edit and click and add more bones. So a lot of things are pretty much the same. Like the mixes. Exactly the same. The only update they got is they only appear when a property is connected. If I disconnect rotation, property by clicking on right or left node we will see that rotation row is not here anymore and to activate it just connect it again you see the values here they will pretty much map the same way but you can change them however changing them doesn't mean that the values will be clamped inside this range from 0 to 100 it will go beyond the limits to clamp them, you will need to activate this functionality, of course. This will make sure that whatever you do, for example, for scale, will always be inside one and two values. For now, I would really like to go and try a few examples. So let's put this image under the bone. Let's create another bone. This will be the one which moves. Now let's constrain this wheel. To this bone now beauty starts we want this bone to move with this bone only on x-axis let's connect x-axis and that's it now we need to set mix value and it should move only x-axis node now we want also it to rotate let's connect x-axis property to the rotation node it's just x-axis and not rotation we want the data from the translate X to go to rotation. Now let's just set the mix for rotation and we are ready. Beautiful. But it's weird. It rotates different uh, direction and it rotates much faster. How to fix this? So instead of from 0 to 100, we can set it the opposite way from 100 to 0. The direction is changed. Now to change the speed, I'm just going to set to 10 to 0. And this is pretty much what I was looking for. You can do better. Now let's check another example. Let's create right away a bone, which will be moving left and right horizontally. But I want it to move to the right. So the head is facing to the right. Once it is moving to the left, minus value the head should flip. Just a simple flip without any transition. Let's do that. I'm gonna select the head, create transform constraint, select this bone, and X value should go to the X scale. Now let's set the value here and let's see what it does. I think I should have set um, Y scale and let's set it to Y. See, this portion is now disabled because we don't have anything connected here. Great. But I don't want it to go beyond the one or minus one value. So let's clamp it. See, but it still goes beyond one and two, which we have by default here. Let's set the values minus one and one let's try it again uh i want just a snap i don't want to see a transition let's set the value uh, as low as we can set which is this one great developer shared with me a few more cases but i'm pretty sure we are the ones who will explore and make and find out new cases share so we can improve our workflow. This is an example where you clamp 
the movement of your bone you can see that green bone here will not be moving outside of this square something uh, clumped inside this region Another example is this one, which I have no idea how they made it, but we have spine and we have all the time to experiment and find out even better challenges and solutions to them. The last one is a little bit sneak peek. You can create transform constraint from an animation and we have some frame and mix. And this is what it does. I have no idea what is it, but we should expect it very soon. Thank you very much for watching, consider subscribing and if you want to know all about transform constraints, check out the course in the link. I will be adding new constraint as a new lesson and it will be included in the price. Thank you. Bye.